KTSM 9's Mutt Mondays, sponsored by the Animal Services of El Paso. Well, El Paso Animal Services is inviting the community to go orange during the Prevention of Animal Cruelty Month, and that's in April. Here to tell us more about the special events that they are hosting this Friday is Julie Noble, the Public Affairs Coordinator with El Paso Animal Services. And Julie, while we should always be aware of animal cruelty, why is it so, you know, what are the focuses for April? So the focus is for this month. We are having our kickoff um, event and our entire month of April is going to be our campaign of Stand With Sunny and Go Orange to show mm -hmm. your support against animal cruelty. Um, this Friday, we're actually going to um, kick off our event at um, Fred Wilson at our main animal services center. So we're inviting the community to come out and we're going to have um, other talks with our partners, um, El Paso Police Department, uh, the Animal Cruelty Unit. They'll be uh, helping us give a couple examples on what to look out for for animal cruelty, as well as what to do, what are some of the fines as well for yeah. animal cruelty, and just kind of giving out all that information. So the public's more than welcome to come join us. It's going to be at 12 p.m. at 5001 Fred Wilson. And we're going to have a bunch of keynote speakers. We're going to have some examples for people to actually see what is um, approved for proper um, safe outdoor mm -hmm. kind of areas for dogs, what's not approved, what to look out for. And of course, if you ever see any sort of instances of animal cruelty, who to call for which areas, you can always call 311. But each separate department has their own uh, animal cruelty units, such as Socorro County, or of course our animal cruelty unit with the El Paso Police Department and our animal protection officers. So we'll be giving all that information out this Friday if Friday. anyone would like to come. And you know, just talking about it now, a lot of it comes down to education. So this is really a chance for people to know what is safe in like when putting your dogs outside and what other things are could people expect? Um, so of course it's going to be or the Safe Outdoor Dogs Act is one of yeah. our main focuses for our animal protection officers but a lot of what the El Paso Police Department Animal Cruelty Division they focus a lot of uh, instances of, of neglect, of torture, mm -hmm. of things like that and uh, the kind of fines that are associated with that. Some things that some people might not see as neglect but things that you can look out yeah. for and they'll go out and investigate and just provide educational resources for community members so they can keep their pets safe. Of course, and here with us we have Atticus. If you <laughs> want to talk about him for a little bit, he I love him as soon as he walked in. He's <laughs> nine years old, you said. Yes, he is a senior. Um, he's been with us for a little, a little while, um, but he's super chill, as you can tell. <laughs> yeah. He's the perfect example of why senior dogs are so great. Um, they're just, we just want a place <laughs> to chill out and hang out next to you, so if you're not very active or anything, Seniors are perfect because they'll literally just hang out next to you, um, <laughs> take a nap, um, watch some TV with you. They're really great dogs. And Attic is here especially. Um, he's a really sweet boy. Yeah, as soon as he walked in, he made himself comfortable. Yeah. And he's been that way ever since. So yeah, a lot of the senior dog dogs here. are like that. Yeah. Um, you can tell that they're used to home life. So the second they go back into a home, they make themselves mm -hmm. right at home and they fit right in. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us, Julie. Thank we'll you. see you next week, of course. And then we'll be right back after this break.